I recently came across a Photoshop tutorial which showed how to do an sort of an embossed image onto a texture. Um, it probably does look probably best on a wooden background or some sort of texture that makes it look like a cameo brooch for example. Um, but you can use other textures because I've done this one which was on this sort of bokka background. Um, so it does work quite well on there. But like I said it probably does look best on a sort of wood or a similar sort of texture. Um, now the Photoshop tutorial had no sound um, so I had to sort of adapt more by guesswork than I normally have to. Plus the fact there were some steps that they used in that tutorial which I couldn't quite see what he was trying to do just by the visuals and no sort of commentary. So that, um, and I couldn't quite duplicate the same result so I sort of dropped those ideas and have a sort of slightly more basic tutorial so it may not look as good as the Photoshop tutorial but I think the end result is quite good now all the images I'm using here are from pixabay.com so that's the wooden background the bokka background and the image of the girl that I'm going to use um, I will add links to all of these images in the description to this video and to the original Photoshop tutorial if you want to sort of try and adapt it differently using that tutorial than I have. Um, you might be able to manage some of the things that I have dropped. Right, so to get started you have your start image, whichever it may be, and the first thing you need to do is to duplicate this. Now you can do this by right clicking on the layer here and coming down to duplicate or you can press Control and J. So once you have your duplicated image we now need to convert this layer to black and white. Now you can do this from the layers, new adjustment layer, black and white adjustment or let me just drop that. you can do it from this half black and white circle here and just pick black and white from there. Now you could just leave it exactly as it is which is what I'm going to do but you could alter the sliders to get a, a more contrasty image but for the sake of this video I'm just going to leave that as it is and then what you could do you could either merge this into that layer which is what I'm going to do now or you can just close it and then you would need to right click the layer and then merge visible so it's just as easy just to click merge so that is now part of that layer the next step is to come up to the filters menu and then come down to colors and then over and down to emboss which will turn the whole image basically just grey and this is where we need to make some of the adjustments and I'm going to move this up to 90 degrees I'm going to change the radius to 10 and the amount to 200 now if you want to try different settings you know, it's perfectly okay like any of these videos that are, I'm adapting them I'm trying to stick close to the original Photoshop tutorial as far as the settings are concerned but Photoshop and Affinity Photo do do things slightly differently so you may want to sort of just push it slightly further that's perfectly okay my videos are just a guideline your actual end results is what you want to get not what I'm trying to get so if you want a more pronounced effect alter the settings accordingly so once you're happy with whatever result you have there just click apply and next thing we want to do is come up to layer and 
invert you can either do it this way or just press Control and I or Command and I on a Mac and invert that embossed image next we want to do is just add a bit of blur to this so we're going to again come up to filters blur Gaussian blur and somewhere around three or four let's, let's go halfway if we can about 3.4 that'll do and then click apply just wait for that to take effect and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to merge all that's visible just give me a layer and I'm going to copy this whole layer um, across and then so right click this and come to copy or control or command C and then you come to the texture that you want to add this to so starting with this wood texture edit and paste or control and V and then use the move tool to resize this so I'm going to come to a corner and hold down the control key just to keep it in perspective and then just move it into position like that control and zero to bring it back to the full screen and then it's just a case of picking a blend mode now you could I would advise you going down all of these to find one that you like. Multiply is quite good but it's sort of very subtle and faded um, and many of these are quite good but the one I found to be the best for me anyway was Linear Light. Now you could if you want duplicate that layer just to sort of make that effect even stronger and maybe even tone that particular layer down it's maybe to multiply or some other effect like color burn just to sort of give you a totally different effect but I'll leave it on oh, that was vivid light that's not so bad I'll leave that one on hard light slightly different how to how I did my original image which I didn't duplicate the layer which is that one sort of slightly subtler effect and this one where it is more pronounced because I've used two layers so that's how you could do that onto the wooden texture and onto this yellow bokeh um, texture again edit and paste because that layer that I copied into memory is still there so I can just paste that again zoom out a bit so I can see the edges press control lower the size of this quite a bit bigger than the background so Control and zero to bring this down. So again, it's just a case of changing the blend mode. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the blend mode to subtract. Like that. I'm going to duplicate that layer. And then I'm going to change the blend mode of this one to linear light so that is the two different textures with the same embossed image on it so the blend mode that you use or blend modes if you're going to duplicate it will depend on the texture that you're going to put this on and on the result that you are trying to get some textures it probably won't work on because I did try this on a sort of a denim texture image and I just couldn't get it to work so 
dependent on the texture and what result you're trying to get will depend on the settings that you use so basically that is it all you need to do now is to save your image under a new name and that is the end of the tutorial thank you for watching and goodbye